As movies go, that's not Shakespeare, but The Butterfly Effect is a number one box office hit, which says something about the clout of its star, Ashton Kutcher. Just a few years ago, it was a case of Ashton Who, but thanks to goofball comedies like Dude Wears My Car and the television show Punked, he's now one of LA's brightest young things. And of course, there's Demi Moore. Their romance, with the 15-year age difference, the toy boy headlines and now the wedding rumour, has Hollywood a buzz and has set Ashton firmly in the spotlight. I'm so late. Come so Am late. I late? You're late. Oh, come on in. What are you talking about? It just wouldn't be Hollywood without the attitude. The star oh, arrives I mean, fashionably I mean, dressed and fashionably I film star late. I First impression? Ashton Kutcher's cute, but is he more big head than big kid? He's certainly very different to the person we've met on screen. Yeah, I'd like to place an order. Um, what'd you like? Yeah, I'd like uh, three orders of garlic chicken. And then? And then three orders of white rice. And then? Gosh, I think that's about it. And then? No, that's it. And then? So, no just where to begin with no the Ashton then. Kutcher story. And no and then! No and then! You've been described as playing the goosebowl <laughs> in a lot of your other projects. Is that an easy role to play? Does it come uh, naturally? Yes and no. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would say so. It's a, I, I find comedy a little bit difficult, um, and that's probably why I end up coming off like a goofball. Sweetie, our plane leaves in an hour. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher's played the comic romantic. Okay, so that wasn't the smoothest start to a honeymoon. <laughs> and the real life romantic, the younger lover of Demi Moore. And this being Hollywood, he's even turned real life friends into reality TV. A show he called Punked. You're an asshole, I knew it! <laughs> And here we go. Look out, because you're going to get pumped. That was like a brain fart idea that's like shouldn't be, you should, that shouldn't like be able to happen. You shouldn't be able to come up with an idea that, that is that stupid and simple. But that was your idea, right? And then actually, yeah, and then actually make it, make it into a TV show that people like. You're going to get punked in a big way, buddy. Here, pop star Justin Timberlake is completely punked by an elaborate sting. Now the dogs are, are put in a government pound and they'll be taken care of. You took my dogs? Fake tax agents repossess Justin's belongings. Tell one of the agents to get the guitar. Let's try not to break anything. It has no value if it's broken when we try to auction it. And it's all captured by hidden cameras with Ashton directing the action. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do not step on my belongings, please. Really? It'll fit now. Well, that also shows perhaps you have a cruel streak. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any friends left? No. But that's okay. I'm, I've become comfortable with that now. You're an asshole! <laughs> You're an asshole! <laughs> so you don't make enough money on music to pay off your taxes, huh? Maybe you should try TV. <laughs> Has Justin Timberlake forgiven you yet? No. No, he's not there yet. I forgave him, though. I forgave him. And then there's Demi Moore. Their love affair has made them one of Hollywood's most watched, photographed and pursued couples. She's the older woman, a divorced mother of three. He's the much younger man. Why do you think there is such a huge fascination with your relationship? I think the nature of entertainers has changed. It's not about what you're doing on TV or in your films, that it's become like our, our people's personal lives have become entertainment. There's magazines that focus on that. And that's become a show in itself. Like our my real life has become a show in itself. In the Ashton and Demi show, the focus is on just one thing, the 15 year age gap between them. She's 41, he's 26. It's a tension he doesn't like, a question he answers with a curious comparison. As far as analogies go, this one's a doozy. Do you think the commentary on the age difference between you and Demi is justified in any way? Look, why are people talking about Janet Jackson's boob? Why is that? Who cares? It's a boob, it's a tit. It's a boob. I have one. I mean, censor that. I, uh, what, what is it? Like, you think children? I mean, you nursed on a boob. 
Most children come out the womb and the first thing they do is go right for the tit. So we've all seen it, we've all been there, but let's turn it into a spectacle. And is that how you feel, that you're part of a spectacle? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. I think they've turned, it, they've turned my life into a spectacle. And is that because but why not focus? What I don't understand is, like, why not focus on the real problems that exist, not focus on a boob? <laughs> or in your case, or a on age an age difference. difference. Or a, I don't know. The Ashton Kutcher story was never meant to be like this. He was a small town, middle American boy who grew up with noble intentions to become a biochemical engineer to find a cure for his brother's heart disease. My brother had a uh, heart transplant when we were 13. He had a cardiomyopathy, which is uh, when uh, it's a virus that attacks the uh, muscle in the heart and it breaks, breaks down the muscle and creates holes in the heart. And I wanted to uh, figure out how to stop that virus from replicating. Why am I not speaking to a biochemical engineer today? You got put on hold. You're still speaking to a biochemical engineer. Am I? Yeah. You going to go back to it? Well, I'm definitely engineering still <clears throat> as to whether or not it's bio or chemical. I don't know. Like they always say that scientists find problems and engineers solve them. So I'm still engineering. With uni on hold, he turned to modelling. I should have broken up with her when then I Then acting, chance. where the once studious Ashton discovered slapstick. I'm not pregnant. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And pranks and pratfalls and physical hey, comedy. You know what? I'm breaking up with you. What? what? In films like Just Married. Cockroach, cockroach, cockroach. <laughs> and the very, very silly, dude, where's my car? You got a tattoo! <laughs> so what are you doing? No. Dude, what does mine say? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> what about mine? Dude, what does mine say? Sweet. <laughs> what about mine? Dude, what does mine say? Sweet! You idiot! Hey, fuck, why only come to Jaimo Sanzinger? Your tattoo says dude. Your tattoo says sweet. Got it? So when did the acting bug bite? <laughs> I was 13 years old and I did a play uh, in my junior high school uh, called The Crying Princess and the Golden Goose and I played a thief and I went on stage and people appreciated what I did and it was one of the first times in my life that I felt like people really were appreciating what it was that I was doing and, um, and I found that to be a sensation that I wanted to have a lot of. And now a new film and a new role. Ashton Kutcher, serious actor. It's called The Butterfly Effect. How long am I going to be in here? I don't know. What about the journals? Did you bring me the ones I asked you to bring? Your co-star in The Butterfly Effect, Eric Stoltz, says of you, he's not unlike a young John Travolta who was also beautiful and sincere and underestimated. Eric Stoltz called me beautiful? He did. I love that. <laughs> Should we be worried? No. It's a thriller where Kutcher plays a psychology student who learns how to travel back in time to change his troubled past. But it's his own life that Ashton Kutcher often finds troubling. I'm not sure if I'm good enough, sometimes. Um, sometimes I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. I'm not sure if I'm patient enough. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about a lot of things but I'm sure that I'm not sure. Why do you think you have the uncertainty? Um, I think it was a lot of uh, time being told that I wasn't good enough. Do you spend your life feeling you've got to prove yourself? Yeah. I think we all do and to a certain extent. We're all, always trying to do something that someone says we can't do. and, and like, But, is it, but those are, that's expanding your boundaries. That's expanding who you are as a person, is doing the things that people don't think you can. Is this like the opening of the show? Well, it'll be a sequence. Actually, oh, it's just yeah. about the end of our time together. Yeah. Where we took like a nice meander in the courtyard. Yeah, because we're getting on so well. And, yeah, you we're know, getting along mates. so well, that's amazing, yeah. <laughs> that's true. At 26, fame has given Ashton Kutcher fortune and an instant family. Yet that same celebrity means he can't move without being photographed, can't fall in love without being followed 
but perhaps better than most, he knows he wouldn't have one without the other. Do you still have paparazzi camped outside your house? Absolutely. So how does, does that just drive you insane? Yep. What do you do? With every good, there's a bad. Would you change it? You can't get too upset about the bad, and you can't get too hyped up about the good. Would you change it? Would I rather they not be there? Does that mean that I don't get the good things that I get? So she's worth it? Every second of it. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.